Hello everyone and welcome back to some more rapid action on Leeches. Uh, last game we played we were able to win but we had some uh, lapses in judgment and basically for the moment I'm uh, living the, the Bobby Fischer quote, you know, one day you give your opponent a lesson, the next game he gives you one. Uh, but uh, uh, it is to be expected at this level, but I'm hoping some of you that are still learning, that are lower rated, are getting some uh, something out of these games, and uh, hopefully my, my thought process is helping you a little bit, even though it is faulty at times, uh, but uh, it, it also helps me improve, and I am really, really starting to like these rapid games. It's um, I've, I've tried playing some Blitz afterwards, and it also helps <laughs> with my Blitz uh, thought process as I'm making... Uh, a lot less um, uh, silly moves. So uh, let's dive straight into it. The last game we had the black pieces. We won very nicely. Uh, but now it's time to play a new game. So let's go for 10 minutes per player. Uh, we only allow higher rated opponents. So we'll see who we get to this one. Uh, sometimes we get two blacks in a row. Sometimes we get two whites in a row. But uh, I, I think most of the times it's like one game black, one game white. So yeah, let's check it out. I'm still sticking to E4 and on... Uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on playing black, sorry, what was this? He aborted the game. Uh, Ligole did not want to play, so let's go for another one. Uh, all right, our next opponent is uh, Biala. Biala from Poland. All right, Biala from Poland, let's do this. Uh, Biala says, have fun. You have uh, fun as well. Uh, my, my dear opponent. All right, so it's a C. Oh, he goes for the... Uh, he goes for the Hyper Accelerated Dragon, the, um, uh, the opening I've been using quite a lot. And, uh, well, I like Queen Captures on D4. I'm going to stick with the Knight Captures. I'm going to go for the Marozzi uh, to see how he will play it against me. All right, so let's see. And what are some of the moves that I could be using when I play it? All right, so he goes for this. Uh, we're gonna go for <clears throat> we're gonna go for bishop to e2 castles uh, b3 and f3. So I think that's uh, that's a nice way to do it. I'll just go bishop e2. Let's castle. Uh, yeah, he goes bishop d7. So he will go for knight captures bishop captures so he can free up the c6 square for his knight. So I could play f3. I don't know if it's if it's necessary here. Might also be able to do something like bishop to f3 as I will be defending this with uh let's go king h1 first let's go. okay so he he's gonna go for it right away okay we're gonna play f3 uh and a5 okay we're gonna play b3 is b3 a problem here since my rook is still here yeah I don't think it is yeah, sort of boxed in my uh, my light square bishop a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna tend to that uh, a bit a bit later. All right, so he of course wants to capture. We're gonna capture. Do we want to capture or do we want him to capture? Yeah, this is the the eternal question. All right, so let's uh, let's force him to capture. Let's play knight d5, sort of to gain access to b6. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right, so he's playing very quickly, or she, uh, as uh, I don't know who I'm playing against. Uh, and now knight to d5 may be a bit uh, awkward, since I st there might still be moves I could play to improve my position before making knight d5. Uh, but I just want to wanna put the knight there. I'm saying, okay, if you capture, I'm going to capture back. Nothing really happening there. Okay, and if he plays e6, he weakens the d6 pawn. It's going to be a fairly weak backwards pawn. So the knight here, uh, the, the knight definitely belongs here. Uh, on, on c5 and uh, it's a fine fine square for the knight I'm still not uh, eager on capturing here maybe e6 now will be a bit dangerous so we're gonna capture now or do we do we do we want to capture this yeah the knight is fairly strong there huh yeah let's capture we're gonna capture and we're going to play queen check. Okay, so he goes e5. Uh, a move I did not expect, but can't say that I'm unhappy about it. Yeah, let's go here. And he, okay, so he wants to get the d4 square for his, uh, for his knight, yeah. Seems like a lovely maneuver. Seems like a lovely maneuver. 
Yeah, I can play f5 because he just captures, f4 because he just captures. So what do we do about our light square bishop? It's not the most amazing piece to be had, definitely. Yeah, and the knight will be just a monster here. Huh. Yeah, that's very nice. I might even have to move back the knight. No, but okay. I will allow him the d4 square. He will play knight d4 and probably can, uh, follow it up with f5, something like f5. Yeah, okay, so he goes knight d4. Yeah, it's annoying. I, I, I'll give him that. That's definitely true. Uh, but now, can we now play f4? He can win a pawn, but does he want to win a pawn? That's the question. Yeah, definitely mixed up something here. Yeah, let's go to d3. It's not the best. It doesn't, doesn't look great. But still, okay, my knight is on d5. His knight is on d4, and he can eliminate my knight, whereas I cannot eliminate his knight. So if he captures, could be could be a good positional decision for him. He will have a knight on a dark square, and I only have a light square bishop. So if he doesn't capture, I might even reconsider my my thoughts here and just go go trade off the knight. Yeah, he's gonna capture, of course. Of course. Let's go here and let's fight for the C file. He'll play rook c8, of course. If a4, which of course is a move, I'm gonna play b4, so that's not not a problem and I have to worry a little bit about f5. I don't think I have to worry a lot since I don't think he has a way of actually getting anything on the king side. Like queen moves are eh. So it's uh, a definitely a difficult position to play. Th this knight can remain on d4 for the rest of the game. Unless I figure out a way of how to maybe maybe give up a rook for the knight and the, the pawn and then maybe go for some pawn advances in the future, maybe creating a pass deep pawn, but that's a long way to go. Just uh, sharing some thoughts here. But all in all, his position should be better. If I had to, if I had to uh, say something about the position, you know, engine-wise, I would say the engine rates it maybe at a 1.2 advantage black. But we're going to check after the game. So once I, I uh, capture some d5, I'm saying <laughs> 1.2 advantage black, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if uh, we're correct, unless uh, he has some sort of a great tactical idea. Uh, but advancing b5 or something like, not right away, but at the, at the moment, uh, weakens the c6 square and then he will have to trade on the c file, otherwise I will get, uh, maybe be able to get rook to c6 in, uh, even at the cost of a, maybe an exchange sacrifice. So we'll see. Um, I really have to see his next move to to be able to consider the position more deeply. So he will go for queen to h4. I'm not sure I understand this. Yeah. So the question now is which rook, which rook belongs on the c file and do I benefit from a queen trade? As his knight will be an absolute monster against my, my bishop. Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Not really seeing anything for his. Uh... Yeah, he will go there. We'll go b4, of course. And we will not play a3 since that gives up the b3 square for uh... for his piece. And I have to be a little bit careful about moving the queen from the second rank, as he will have queen f2. Yeah, that's also also an issue for me. Ah. <sighs> All right, so how do we improve here? Is there a way? Is there a way? Let's go. No, let's not go that. Sorry, I'm being silly. 
Yeah, not the best, not the best. Oh, yeah, I can't even trade along the C file because at the end of the trade, he always gets that queen to F to move in. And if I play king here to stop that, he then I might be eligible for some forks. But okay, I, I will play it. Yeah, it looks it looks very dangerous, but I will play it. Looks incredibly dangerous. Because now he might have some knight captures and F3 action here. Not right away, at some point maybe. Yeah, he wants to trade. He wants to trade and also put pressure, even more pressure on my rook. Yeah, he's really punishing me for having a terrible bishop here. Uh, yeah, let's just go here. Let's just go back. Yeah, queen b2 doesn't look all that impressive. I have to, I have to keep an eye on the rook. Uh, okay, so we'll go here. We'll definitely go here. He gets access to e3. We can't go there. Okay, so we have to concede and play a lesser endgame. There's no other way to do it. All right. At least we get an active king from this. He is a uh, better. Uh, he's better here. Okay, so let's go g3 simply to cut off his king from advancing further. Maybe it's yeah, could be premature. It does leave me with a, with a weak f3 pawn. Uh, but for the moment, I'm not seeing a way for him to take control of the c file. If he pushes the b-pawn, which is possible, of course. Yeah, I can't play a3. I don't think I can ever play. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Let's go. Yeah, uh, f4 is a move here, right? Is f4 a move? It would be a move if my knight wasn't uh, on such a, if my bishop wasn't on such a silly square. Okay, we're gonna move the bishop back. Bishop not really doing all that much for the moment. Sort of just a threat on f4. Although I don't think it's uh, it's doing much. Yeah, but if he pushes a3, then he might have some action against my b4 pawn. Also very dangerous. Yeah, but then uh, if he goes after it, his rook will ha be hanging, so he's gonna have to trade first. Oh, so, so he goes f4, of course. He goes f4, of course. We're gonna challenge the king and uh, what is this? Is this wise? Is this a free pawn? Yeah, that's a free pawn. He's gonna capture the rook first, but it doesn't matter. We have a check in between. Yeah, we have a check in between. Yeah, even though I might have won a pawn here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna deliver a check first. Even though I won a pawn, his position is still very strong. Yeah, of course, he goes after the pawn here. Ah. Uh... Very strong, very strong. Yeah, I have to defend it. I have to defend it. Yeah, he goes after this pawn. If I go here, I blunder my rook. So, yeah, he wins the pawn back. He wins the pawn back. That's very nice. So, let's go here. No, <laughs> let's not go there. Let's not go there. Yeah, really struggling to find a move here. Let's go all the way. Now, nah, we still can't do it. We need a move prior to this. Yeah, I'm gonna play a3 now. Sort of a, just just wasting a move. So he plays rook captures on h4. I really have nothing better. Yeah, let's go here now.
<sighs> yeah, very, very strong. Very strong player. So if he goes here now, yeah, of course he can do that. If he pushes b5, which is probably what he will do, we're going to go bishop e2, a bishop d3. And then if he attacks the pawn again, we can defend it this way. Yeah, that's sort of a sort of a plan. All right, so minute and 37 seconds against his poor minutes. Again, we are struggling uh, to be to be fast, but you know, it is what it is. Material is equal, but his knight is much better than my bishop. So Yeah, probably b5. Yeah, he's going to go after it. So I'm going to check the king once simply to force the king back to f6. And then we're going to capture here and create a pass pawn. Okay, now he's going to capture it. We're going to move. He's going to capture here, which is fine. Uh, we're going to capture. Do we capture? Yeah, this will be, this will hurt a lot if he does that. Yeah, I have to start pushing. No, but then he just goes rook b3. Just goes rook b3. Yeah, of course. Ah, yeah, he can connect with my king. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we we do get to play a little bit longer. Okay. If king captures, we just uh, win the rook. But still, it could be could be lost because he has the passed ape on. So he's just gonna capture on b4 probably. Yeah. We're gonna go here. Try to make the most out of the position. But it's not it's not a lot. Yeah. He he just goes here, as he should. Yeah. We're gonna go. Yeah, there's nothing to try here. Just a very, very hard position to play. Okay, how do we how do we get to the pawn? How do we get to the pawn? There's no way. Uh, let's give one check first. Maybe to win the g6 square for our bishop to control c2 for the knight. If he allows it. Don't really have anything better. Nothing better. So now I can maybe play rook to a1 if he gives me the chance. Yeah, but no, we're, we're, we're very, very low on time. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, that's how he'll do it. That's how he'll do it. Yeah, not much we can do here. Not much, not much at all. Yeah, we're gonna give one more check and then uh, resign like a gentleman. Or do we want to see his technique? No, we'll resign as a gentleman here. We'll resign as a gentleman. So very good game, Biala. Uh, he outplayed me in a line that I am uh, trying to become better at. So now we'll see what uh, what went wrong here. All right, so let's see. So we played this. Uh, OK, this is perfectly fine. OK, uh, Bishop e2. Yeah, it's considered the best. Castles. OK, so everything is fine here. Uh, yeah, some, some moves here like queen d2, rook c1, knight c2. I played king h1. Very much playable. He went for bishop to c6. So those are all very standard ideas. b3, knight d5. Okay, so knight d5 may be a bit premature. Rook to b1 is considered uh, sort of uh, sort of the move, yeah. Probably later on to support b4. Um, but okay, knight c5. I played bishop captures, captures, queen d4. Queen back to d2, perfectly fine. Uh, knight here, okay, so yeah, knight to c3. 
that's the way to do it. Uh, I shouldn't have allowed this trade bishop for knight, which uh, caused me to suffer. Yeah, and again, knight a3, don't allow that knight to be captured here. After capturing the knight, he just has a superior game, queen h4. Yeah, and later on, uh, I think he was just better for the entire game, but we'll see. Okay, so we traded, it's fine. Still, I mean, the engine gives like a 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, the engine gives like a 0-0. Zero, zero. And where, where, where was that moment where we discussed during the game when I said black is like, like up uh, plus 1.2? can't remember what moment was it, but it was around this moment. So, yeah, here, okay, it's 0-0, zero, zero, but um, yeah, g3, f5. Sort of captures okay i played bishop here yeah now he's uh, now he's on one a minus now i'm one <laughs> minus 1.2 could be that this is the position that i was talking about yeah the engine goes even further minus 1.4 as it's going into greater depths so yeah f4 but f4 is is now a draw like h4 i capture he captures yeah so where was the crucial mistake king captures on e5 rook captures on c1 rook c3 okay this is fine Ah, king g, king g2. Why king g2? King g2 because if he captures the pawn, okay, then I go after his pawns. Okay, so uh, should have improved. Okay, so now with capturing, he actually allows me into the game. Yeah, but not rook c7. Actually, rook to c8 was the move. Point being that after he goes for the pawn, I go rook e8 to check. Ah, okay. Ha. <laughs> yeah, and now king e3. Uh, winning winning material so he will not be able to play rook here he will have to play something and then I play king t3 yeah that was the that was the crucial move that I missed so up until this point it was uh, pretty much okay yeah but after rook f4 no sorry but after rook c7 yeah he's much better with rook f4 with rook h3 it's still a draw obviously but I have to play rook f7 yeah I don't know why I played this yeah lapse in judgment yeah but not now he's completely winning and uh, he, he won it very nicely. So, okay, it was not uh, not that uh, much of a problem with uh, misplaying the line. I actually played it precisely, but uh, at the crucial moment where it was time to step up and find a solution to the position, that's where I fell short. And uh, yeah, Biala even says, I watch your show regularly. So th thanks for that, Mr. Biala. Uh, good game once again. Uh, I will I, I will treasure these moments, you know, as uh, I'm also trying to improve in the Hyper Accelerated Dragon. So uh, I also uh, learned from this game. Uh, but yeah, very nice. Hope you guys got something out of this. If you're a Hyper Accelerated Dragon player or if you struggle playing against the Hyper Accelerated Dragon, the, the Marotti Bind structure usually works very well against the Hyper Accelerated Dragon, as you've seen here. Uh, but, uh, you know, when it's time to fight, it's time to fight. Uh, so yeah, once again, really hope you guys enjoyed it. We will continue tomorrow with some more rapid action. Until then, uh, have a great day and, uh, you know, uh, study, study, study the endgame and uh, hopefully you improve your chess as well. Uh, see you soon.